Today we're going to learn a piece called Dreamcatcher. Now it used to be one of the initial grade pieces from a few years ago, but I've always thought of it as one of the harder initial grade pieces, more uh, into the grade one kind of area. It's in this book, um, which is one of the old 2010 books, um, but I have included it on the worksheet that goes with this um, tutorial. Now we're going to divide this into several sections. The first bit starts at bar 5 and goes on to bar 11, that's section A. From bar 12 to bar 1920, that is um, section B, and then section C is bar 21 to the end. You'll notice that it's written down as a duet it's only the top line of each part, of each pair of lines that you need to think about. The other part is accompaniment. So we're starting off with section A and bars five and six go like this. Notice that the G is a high G, it's E, fretted notes you need there are the third fret ones. Listen to the rhythm, notice where the quavers, the joined together notes are, and notice that the uh, last note on that line is a three beat note. It's not filled in and it's got a dot. So let's play that together. One, two, three. Bars 7 and 8 have got a very similar shape and they've got the same rhythm. The notes are different. It goes D, D, C, D, G, D. Listen to it. That last note is now only two beats long because it doesn't have the dot with it anymore. And here are bars 5 to 8. 1, 2, 3. start on the last two notes of bar eight and it goes C, B, ending up on a low A there. Then E, F, D. Play me from the last two notes in bar eight. One, two. C, B, A, E, F, D. And then a quicker bit because it's quavers. D, E, C, B, A. So if we join that bit up from the last two notes in bar eight, it goes one, two. Now we're going to play section A all the way through. I'm going to play uh, an accompaniment background with it as well. So get yourself ready for the beginning bit. One, two, three. to section B, the very first thing that happens in section B is a one beat rest, that squiggly thing at the beginning of bar 12. So you go rest, C, D, E, E, D, E, G, E. And you'll notice that that bit that you lead into is the same as the beginning. E, E, D, E, G, E. So let's play bars 12, 13, 14, and one, two, three, rest. Two, three. The next bit uses the same tune 
as you've just played the same tune that you had at the beginning but it is an octave lower so now you're pl still playing e e d e g e but you're using your fourth string e your fourth string d so it goes e string four fret two d string four fret nothing is a low G on string three. Let's try that together. Find your E, string four, fret two, one, two, three. And let's go from bar 12 up to there. So one, two, three, rest. three notes there are a couple of things that you're going to need to concentrate on they go E high G low A there's quite a big gap between the high G and the low A so you need to think about the note that you're going to and the A you will notice that it's got a curved line joining it to the next note which is also an A it's a three beat note joined to a two beat note, which makes it one five beat note instead of two separate notes. So it will go two, three, four, five. Before you play the next, the next bit, goes E, G, E. That's a three beat E. And then the next bar is three beats rest. The little thing that looks like an eye that's a pause, so it might have a pause before you go on to the next bit. We're going to play the whole of section B. Again, I'm going to play an accompaniment background. Don't forget that you have a rest to start with. One, two, three, rest. from bar 5 all the way through section A and section B. So get your beginning bit ready. One, two, three. Section C, you can see you've got some high notes. You can tell they're high because they've got lots of lines above the normal stave. To start with, I'd like you to see if you can find these notes. High G, you know that one, fret three. These are all string one, by the way, because that's where your high notes live. High A, fret five. Fret seven is high B. Fret 8 is high C, fret 10 is high D, and fret 12 is high E. You may find that on your guitar you have some dots on the neck there. The usual place to have them is fret 5 and fret 7. Sometimes there's one at fret 9 sometimes there's one at fret 12. Fret 12 is an easy one to find though because on this kind of guitar it's always where the neck joins the body. Now in this bit I'm going to talk about the notes as fret numbers rather than letters. The first bit this is at bar. 
21 goes fret 12 naught 12 10. Your actual letters are high E, ordinary E, high E and high D. Then the next bit goes fret 8 naught 8 7. The notes will be C, E, C and B. The next bit goes fret 5, naught, 5, 3, 3, 5. The notes there are A, E, A, G, G, A. And that last high A is tied again so it's just a really long note six beats long this one so let's play through the notes of section c one two three twelve naught twelve ten two three eight Is section C with an accompaniment. One, two, three. this is played fairly quietly. It starts off MP mezzo piano which is medium quiet. When you get into section B there's a small crescendo to mezzo forte, medium loud. It diminuendos at the end of section B to mezzo forte again and then for section C piano which is quiet. At the end, dim means diminuendo, get quieter, and writ means slow down gradually. The thing that looks like a little I, that is a pause mark, I can see two of those in here, so watch out for those. Now I'm going to play the whole of Dreamcatcher all the way through. There is a short introduction. <laughs> 